Everyone has a right to be happy, yet it's so hard to acquire. Well, yeah, that's true. It, it is hard to be happy, and everyone do has a, has a right to it, at least in America. They have the right. I understand that. Everyone does have a right to be happy, but that doesn't mean that everyone can acquire the happiness, obviously. Everyone has a right to be happy, yet it's so hard to promise. Yeah, because you can't just say, I'm going to make you happy. I mean, it, it's hard to pro it is hard to put it into concrete, yes, this will happen, this will make you happy. I mean, it's not necessary. it's not necessarily true. It's kind of difficult to understand, but I guess the promise of happiness is one of the phases to acquiring happiness. Everyone has a right to work hard for their happiness, but it's not that easy to be happy. I have a right to be happy, yet it's so hard to compromise. I guess she's trying to talk about compromising the, compromising the happiness. There's no limit to the desire of happiness. You can never stop wanting something. That's why people need to make compromise on their happiness. At least that's how I understand. Nah, yeah, that's not how I read into it, but okay. Sure, you can you could take your word into it. Sure, why not? Let's go with Keiji's. It sounds positive if she's trying to say that she, we should be satisfied with what we have. Oh, that's why I was I I took the negative route on that one. <laughs> But there's also a negative image to those words. I think this poem is reflecting the writer's emotion. I think so too. So what did you think? She won't admit. But I'm sure Rika is the one who made this poem, and it's reflecting how she's feeling right now. I'm not that smart, but I can still understand that. I thought it was a sad poem. Sad? I understand the first two lines. Everyone has a right to be happy, but not everyone can be happy that easily. I think those lines are describing the hard part of our lives. But the last line was different. Making compromises is the same thing as giving up. The writer of this poem is giving up on trying to be happy, and is trying to accept the reality. Trying to accept the reality? She's not happy about it either. Everyone can become happy with effort, but she thinks she can't. The poem reflects her hopelessness. It's so sad. Now oh, that's a little better. That's closer to what I was saying. That's a little closer that she is. She she was having to compromise between the two and can't even do that. Close enough. And Keiji, what do you think she should do? Change her attitude and start doing something. <laughs> Talk to her friends. She shouldn't give up. She shouldn't give up? The writer of this poem already knows how she can be happy. It's something that she deserves. She's been thinking about how to become happy all the time. If she really wants to be happy, she shouldn't give up. Remember, we overcame a desperate situation in only a few days. If we all work together, we can make a miracle happen. You saw it with your own eyes, didn't you? What's troubling you? Talk to me. There's something I want to talk to all of you about. But if I do that, you won't be able to stay in this village anymore. My happiness is to see what's beyond June of the 58th year of the Shoah, together with you guys. It doesn't mean anything if I live beyond this June without you. We won't be able to stay in Hinami's all anymore? Why is that? They will kill you if they find out that I talk to you. That's why I can't talk. What do you mean they'll kill us? Are you being threatened by someone? The word kill is not something that we should use casually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually. Yeah. It's different when it's actually meaning, when it's literal. <laughs> like when she, what she's meaning. I'm shocked to hear it coming out from her mouth. That's why I can't help raising my voice. I don't know who's the enemy and who's not. The only thing I know for sure is that someone is going to kill me. Wait, Rika. Talk to me. What the hell is going on? Is Tepe threatening her? No, that is impossible. The police arrested him, and the Sonozaki family told him not to come back to the village. 
there's no way he could contact Rika to threaten her. And even if that somehow was the case, Rika could call, talk to Mion, and everything would be taken care of. But based on her expression, it seems like this is way deeper than that. Yeah, it's like someone who's intelligent. Wow. I'm sorry. If I talk to you, you'll be dragged into this. If I lose you, I have no reason to survive. I just can't talk to you about this. I'm not going to compromise my happiness. I don't understand what you're trying to say. But you sound just like Satoko a few days ago. Like Satoko? Yeah. You think it's better to be patient. You forgot the courage to fight. It sounds like that. I thought you were the one who told Satoko to be brave over the phone. My words hurt Rika's feelings. Get the fuck over it. <laughs> she clenches their lips and stays quiet for a while. If I talk to you, you might get killed too. Eh, yeah, that's fine. Nothing like getting killed. Helps booster, it helps bolster my character. I don't want to be killed. But if we don't do anything, you're going to get killed, right? We don't want a future without you either, Rika. What? Yeah, it'd be kind of fucking boring. Nothing like a cra- <laughs> Like a fucking child that can talk to a god. Yeah, that just makes the day mu much more interesting. You said you don't want to lose us, but we don't want to lose you either. I welcome the turbulence. Besides, you know how powerful we can be together. I'm sure we can solve anything if we all get together. Not even our combined strength can solve this problem. Wow. Great attitude there. You don't want to talk to us because you don't want to drag us into it, right? So you're trying to say that you want to die without talking to us. I guess that's what I'm saying. Don't think that being patient is the same thing as being brave. Remember the courage to fight. Talk to me anytime once you organize your feelings. We'll help you. You can count on us. Thank you. Her face looks sad. It's as if she appreciates my sympathy. I don't know why, but Rika is troubled by something. <laughs> no shit. It's a matter of survival for her. She can't even talk to us about it. She won't talk to me. How is it, Keiichi? Is Rika troubled by something? That doesn't happen very often. Satoko. This is going to sound strange, but is there any chance that someone is trying to take Rika's uh, life away? What? What the heck are you saying? Rika is the symbol of this village. People worship her. No one is trying to kill her. What is it? What are you guys talking about? The more I talk to my friends, the stranger it seems that someone is trying to kill Rika. Everyone is even more confused than I am. Rika didn't talk to me about what's troubling her. But I'm sure there's something very serious going on with her. If she trusts us, I'm sure she'll talk to us soon. Let's believe everything she tells us if she opens her heart. Okay. We all look at each other and nod. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I mean, the hell. Yes, I go around distrusting my friends every single fucking day. The hell. Fuck you, friends. I don't... You don't tell me what to do and what to believe. Discolored Notebook 2 and 3. Thank God. Is it gonna be more creepy religious shit? The Son of God promised that he would revive, uh, revive in three days. The answer to that question is yes. Sinful men guarded the grave to make sure he would not wake up, but that was foolish. He meant that his spirit and his lessons would revive, not his physical shell. Don't be afraid of physical death. If you make a great achievement, you will live again. You will surpass death and become immortal. A demon took the son of God to the cliff and told him to jump off. He claimed that if he was really a son of God, a miracle would ha help him survive. He tried to challenge the Lord. The Lord challenges humans, but humans may not challenge the Lord. What? I'm sorry, but I would... <laughs> Fuck me, if I'm a god? Oh, I'm gonna have so much time fucking with humans. Fuck that shit. Oh, I'm gonna brag and just make fun of people. If they challenge me all day long, I'll do it. Fuck him. 
The challenge is to suspect. Suspicion will speak words of evil into your ears, and it will take you down. Yeah, but if you can blast away those suspicions, look, and then there's nothing. Do not doubt your own achievement. Do not doubt your own life. Do not doubt your contribution. Do not let others criticize your achievement. That is the same as doubting your own life. No, they can criticize everything I do. I don't care. They have a right to voice their opinion. Believe it or not, free speech. Hey, that's a thing. No, I don't care. I welcome skepticism, suspicion, everything. Because it, it bolsters it. Because if they're doing it for the right reasons, as in to learn, they're suspect of whether it's true or not, and then I can tell them, hey, yeah, that actually, that did happen. And then like, oh, that's interesting. I'm glad I learned that. Then, hey, look, that's knowledge. That's something being done. It's something that's now going to be refuted if ever brought up again. Easier to refute. That kind of thing. I'm going to let people criticize my work and achievements because that's just how it is. Because it better... Because my accomplishments can be better. I don't uh, believe that my achievements are the height of my ability. I believe I can get higher than what I have already. And same with any other achievement I get. I want to get it better. I want to be higher. Ifumi T. What the fuck? Who the fuck is this guy? I mean, seriously. Look, it's like a fucking preacher. It is interesting. I don't know why they're making such a big deal of him. I assume he's going to come up later in the plot. As I wake up, I see Satko in the calendar. The first one to wake up is supposed to tear the calendar. Sometimes we both tear the calendar by mistakes. The day is, day is two days ahead. Satko likes to tear the calendar, and that makes her wake up early every morning. It always makes me smile, but I feel devastated as soon as I see the number 22 on the calendar. It's going to happen today. June 22nd. The day I die. Damn, this... Wow, this is going to wrap up quick. Hey, who knows? Maybe this might be the final episode. That'd be fun. No, there's no way they could just speed run all of it. No, there's no way. This going to be... There's got to be a lot more. Good morning. Good morning, Rika. Hmm. Good morning, guys. Guys? Are you still asleep? Me? There's someone else living in this house other than you and I. I just said good morning to that person as well. <laughs> it's a god. Hey! Don't try and spook me like that. <laughs> Satko won't be able to sleep without holding your hand tonight, Rika. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Satko can see Hanyu, and it's as if the three of us are living together. That'd be so much fun. Still wouldn't change the fact that you're still gonna die. Ha. <laughs> Sucks. That, that really does suck for her. I really do feel bad for her. It's time for me to go to school, but my body feels heavy. I'm going to die today. <laughs> Beautiful. Knowing that I don't even... I don't even feel like I'm going to school. I wouldn't fuck that shit. Oh, uh, I'm gonna sleep in today. Fuck school. <laughs> This is my last day. I'm doing the shit I want to do. Sleep in. I'm gonna fucking drink all day. Fuck, I'm gonna be totally wasted when I'm going out. As I repeat my life, I can I can detect the day of my death pretty precisely. I always die on the day I feel this way. Rika, we should get going now. Um, taking a day off today. There you go. Rika? Heard from Keiichi. Are you troubled by something? Kind of, but not really. Hmm? What else can I do now? Today is the day. It's too late now. The... But part of me still feels like doing something. I've been in this world only a few days. My emotions went up and down like a roller coaster. Sometimes I felt motivated to fight. Other times I felt desperate and gave up. This is one of those times. <laughs> that you give up. Keiichi and my friend showed me their strength. But I still lacked the iron motivation required to challenge my fate. See, that's the problem with you, Rika. You need to be strong like iron. You need to be a fist. 
I was only motivated when something lucky happened. I was hoping to gain courage to fight against my fate. But here I am today conceding to destiny. See, that's the thing. I wouldn't necessarily wait and get mo Well, no. I wouldn't get motivated, motivated by being lucky. What I'd do is just research everything before dying. Everything. Have Han you look into people, me look into people, everything. Just keep researching and researching. And then once I gather all of this knowledge and have everything, then I wait. I sit and wait until the right moment to open the can of knowledge and just release everything. And give it one good push to get out of it. I was hoping to gain the courage to fight against my fate, but here I am today conceding to destiny. Fucking destiny. Keiji told me that we can make a miracle happen if we work together, but he didn't teach me one thing. He didn't teach me how to believe in that. If I don't believe in it that I can make a miracle happen, I won't be able to make a crack in the wall of fate. This wall is too strong and too good. Except, you know, whenever Keiji decides to do something, and it's like, wow, that's really fucking easy. Because at the end of the day, that's what it is. It is easy. It seems so simple, yet it's so difficult. It's difficult because people don't want to put in the effort required to do it, and that's the problem. People think it's this hard thing to change. Think of it as something that's so daunting and so unrelenting that you can't do anything about it. That's what makes it seem so difficult. It's what makes it, and it's what makes it easy. Because you hype it up into this mass that is going to be impossible to do, and yet, hey, this actually isn't too bad. That's just how it is with anything. Anything that people say is extremely difficult, it actually turns out, hey, yeah, it's difficult, but it's not as hard as I thought it would be. I couldn't even decide whether I should be on the stage or stay below the stage as a spectator. I told Hanyu that I haven't decided what to do after this world is over. But that's a spectator's point of view. For the people on the stage, this world is the only world. See, that's what you need to act like, that this is my one shot, this is my one opportunity. Why would I just, you know, pass it up? For them, the end of the world means the end of, my, of life. That's why they would do anything to change their fate. Hell yeah, that's what I would do. Struggle like there's never been a struggle before. Change it. That's why they can make a miracle happen. I was never working hard enough because I always knew that I could reset my life. I thought it was one poor girl who couldn't change her own fate. That's why I'm here again today. It's as if I slacked off on summer projects and woke up on the last day of vacation with nothing completed. Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, don't I know that fucking feeling. And don't I know the feeling of actually getting it done. Oof! Nothing's a better accomplishment than saving a paper for the last day, the day it's due. Do it at 11.59, start it at fucking 9 p.m. Crank it out, submit it at like 11.54. Nothing beats that feeling than actually getting an A on it. Oh, nothing's better. Nothing's better than that. I probably should start working on them sooner. What should I do? Should I not work on it, knowing that I'm not going to make it on time anyway? Oh, you f fucking defeatist attitude. Wrong. You do it. You stay up as late as possible and do it. Or should I do whatever I can do, even though I may still get in big trouble? You get in bigger trouble by not doing it at all. Perhaps a miracle will happen. Perhaps the homework will be done overnight. Miracles don't happen to homework. Wrong. Swear to God, that actually has happened to me. I completely forgot about a paper. Next day, snows. School's canceled. Thank God. That's how it worked. And it was like on a fucking Friday, too. The paper was due. Snows. School's out Friday. Done. Thank you. That's, uh, that's, that's what happens when you don't do your homework. And you get up at... Oh, four in the morning. Oh, this was during high school, too. Four in the morning, I got up to type my paper. Start snowing like a motherfucker outside. It's like, yes. Yes. There's hope. Still sitting away typing. Then, like, at fucking seven. No, 6.30. School got canceled. I'm like, thank you. Yes. Time to go back to sleep. 
So yes, that, they do happen, Vrika. That's a defeatist attitude. I have to do the homework on my own. Though I did have to, I did have to eventually do it, so... Yeah. But it gave me more time. Without effort, without effort, nothing will ever get done. Without effort, not even one question will be solved. I think you should spend your day doing what you do want to do. You can drink by the window all day, just like you want. Well, that's what I would do when I'm like gathering information, like when I finish and just waiting. Just drink, wait, bide my time, and do the perfect opportunity. You're suggesting that I shouldn't do anything since I know I'll get in trouble anyway. For Anya, it's not about homework, it's more about the vacation itself. The vacation will be over no matter how much I want it to continue. In her eyes, it's pathetic for me to make a big deal out of not completing the homework. And complaining contemplating whether I should still work on it or not. On top of that, I'm saying that I might as well die in if the vacation is going to be over. If I was in her situation, I would be laughing hysterically. Gage, you told me to seek everyone's help in order to finish her, my homework. But I'm not taking that offer. Because I don't want to cause them trouble, and I don't want the teacher to know that I got help from them. You're a fucking... Oh, God. No wrong have you not learned anything from people you know saying you know, getting help from their friends and magically avoiding a lot of events wow why don't i do that no 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 i'm stubborn if i was going to have regrets i shouldn't i should have worked on it from the beginning if i had no intention of working on it i should have just relaxed without stressing so much if I didn't care what other people thought, I would have asked for their help in the first place. Those are the three options I talked about with Hanyu yesterday. I didn't choose any of them. I've been living for over a hundred years, but I still can't decide. Why the fuck not? I would have decided day one, well, after my first death and rep repetition of it and, and noticed that I'm in a cycle. That's when I decide, what the fuck am I going to do? Am I just going to let this happen? Hell no. Am I going to do something about this, not caring what other people think about it? What I'm doing? Yes. My hundred years were wasted. No shit. Satoko. I'm going to... I'm not going to school today because I have a cold. You do? Do you want me to take your temperature? I need to rest today. Could you tell Chie that I'm not coming because I'm sick? Rika, are you really sick? Keiichi told me that you're worried someone is trying to kill you. I'm very concerned about you. Thank you. You should go now. You'll be late. Sotoko looks at the clock, then looks back at me looks back at me again. I'm very happy right now. I'm happy that I'm back with everyone, and that I'm living with you again. So if I lose you, I'll be living in a very sad world. Just think about it. The world without me. Yeah. The world without you. It's a very sad world. I never thought about that. I thought about the world ended. I thought that the world ended when I died. <laughs> That's very self and self-centered of you to think about. For yourself it did. For everyone else, their world is continuing. I never thought about the world after my death. That was never my concern. Well, obviously, you're dead, you're dead, so it doesn't matter. I want you to take care of yourself. It's not just you. If something happens to you, everyone will be sad too. Satoko. Rika, I'll leave you alone for today. But talk to me if you have something on your mind. It's sad how you won't talk to me. Satoko seems like she wants to say more, but she looks down instead. I know what she's trying to say. I realize how selfishly I've been living. It was wrong for me to look at this world as a straight stage play. But it's too late. It's too late now. Satoko leaves the house in a hurry. Honey and I are left alone inside the house. Nothing like being a dumbass. I know that 
I know you want to be alone. I'll disappear until you call me. Thank you. You're still yourself, even after a hundred years. You're not a hundred-year-old mountain hermit. You deserve to think about your life as a young girl. I don't want to force you to think like a grown-up. It's not your fault, Hanyu. I'm just being so arrogant. Call me if you want to talk to me. You're not crying anymore. You're not going to beg me to, to not to give up on my life. You're a stubborn person. I know it's better not to be too persistent with you. <laughs> After all these years, you know me very well. I know you already know this, but let me say this. Today is the day. Do your best. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do, or don't do, this world is going to end today. If you wish for it, I'll send you a brand new day. I'll see you... You'll see a brand new day, just like when morning comes. You might find yourself back in June of this year again. But still a brand new day. When I was younger, every day seemed so boring. I thought every day was just a repetition of the same things. That's going to become the truth. Let me just tell you to live this day pr productively. I'm not going to say anything else to you. I knew today was the day, but it's difficult to hear this from you. It's going to end again, huh? Yeah. It's going to end again. Just like always. Honey disappears and it gets quiet inside the house. You still can't fucking investigate people! How should I spend my day? How should I end this day? <laughs> Both of those answers are the same. Drinking a lot. Should I work on my homework knowing that I'm not going to make it on time? Actually, no, honestly, I would have already finished my fucking homework in this case because I knew I don't want to be in this repetition for ever and ever and ever. I only have half a day left. I have to do my best. I should think about what I can do. Literally anything. This world is supposed to be a happy place. People are enjoying their lives. I should have enjoyed my life more, too. That doesn't mean that I should have lived my life optimistically. It means that I should have enjoyed my life by fully experiencing both happiness and sadness. The fuck? No. I'm gonna opt out of feeling sadness. I don't want to fucking feel sadness. I hate feeling sadness. If I could go my whole life without ever experiencing sadness, I would have definitely not. I would definitely avoid being sad. Because that's what's fun. If I did that, I wouldn't be worried about what to do after my death. I should have lived with all my energy. When the time comes, it'll be over. Live. Today. That's a very important phrase. But it sound, sounds meaningless when I say it, because I can repeat this meaningless life as many times as I wish. I'll wash the dishes. Oh, fun. Anya usually stays with me when Satoko's not around, but she's not here right now. It's been a while since I was all by myself. I never thought washing dishes could be this sad. I'm gonna die today anyways. Yeah, I wouldn't be fucking doing dishes when I'm about to die. Fuck that shit. This world is ending today. Why should I wash these dishes? No shit. Though to be fair, how many dishes could two children go through, honestly? Yeah, never mind, that's actually a lot. Fuck. Because they're not an adult. <laughs> actually, it depends how much how much they wash dishes on a daily basis. That's because I'm thinking about Satoko, who has to move on with their her life after tomorrow. I'll encounter a new Satoko in the next world. But I realized something after hearing what Satoko told me earlier. After I'm dead, I wonder how Satoko will move on with her life. Eh, that's her problem. That's a problem for Satoko here. The worlds that I have left in the past all went on without me. I wonder if Satoko would be able to cook without me. Yeah, I mean, you're... She's extremely, uh... Self-centered. Honestly. But humans are, in general. We always imagine that, uh, the world's gonna end. The world's basically over. It doesn't matter once I die. You know, that kind of attitude towards it. No, it does matter. It matters, to an extent. 